winning post is a 1997 horse racing simulator from Koi. It also happens to be one of the rarest games in the North American Saturn library, often fetching well over $100 when it appears on eBay, which isn't very often. The reason for this is quite simple actually, it has one of the lowest print runs of any North American Saturn game. But let's be honest here, how many people out there in 1997 were interested in horse racing simulators? I'm willing to bet not that many. I for one am not a huge fan of this particular genre, so I can only really offer a slight overview of the game instead of my usual review. I've never been a huge horse racing fan, having never gone to the track to bet on a horse race or anything like that. So replaying this game today was quite a challenge, not because it was horrible or anything like that, but mainly because I know so very little about what the heck it is I'm supposed to do. Well there's some good news here, because the game eases you into the gameplay quite nicely. In fact I was rather shocked at just how smoothly my transition was from knowing absolutely nothing to understanding how to gamble on horses and what exactly it was I was supposed to be doing with this particular simulator. To begin, you start off by selecting a main horse and a backup horse. Both of these will eventually be used in races. You can visit their trainer who will assign a jockey and eventually ease you into registering them to races. The game is broken down into a series of weeks where you can visit the trainers, other owners and just so much more. Eventually you'll leave for the weekend which is where races occur. At first you can't do anything at all except for bet on races, but eventually with your own horses ready you can actually partake in the races. You always stay behind the scenes though. You do your best to offer the best possible trainers and let the horses mature to the point where they win you millions. As time progresses and you get more and more involved, you can actually take part in the horses direct training and register them for races yourself. Perhaps the biggest compliment I can give this game is that if you stick with it, you can actually become a horse racing expert. And I'm not joking. When it comes time to sell your horse, perform trades and breed horses, you'll start to learn the ins and outs of everything to do within this unique world. You can quite easily spend hundreds of hours with this particular game simply because it doesn't really end. You can continue to breed and race horses over and over until you become bankrupt or you just keep on at it. I find it absolutely amazing how much effort went into this game, especially when it comes to all the races and the facts about each race, and all the stats with the horses. This is seriously impressive stuff, and fans of horse racing will likely be quite impressed for this fairly early effort. While the series had already had a couple of installments by 1997, this was the first one in North America, or at least as far as I know. The audiovisual presentation is minimalistic, to be fair, but the game features entirely 2D sprite based graphics, which is great because they age so much better than 3D games. I should also mention that there's a ton of blurry FMV videos thrown in for good measure for some reason, and the music is pretty much low key, so there's not really too much to talk about there. Overall, Winning Post may surprise many people with its incredibly high entry price, but when you dig in and realize just how impressive of a simulator it is, I can see some people justifying that price. For someone like me, this is a game I purchased for 15 bucks back in a bargain bin quite a few years ago, and for that price it taught me a great deal about horse racing, but I've never been into the genre as a whole, and this game didn't really change that. What it did change was my respect for those that are into horse racing. I had absolutely no idea how much thought, time and effort goes into each and every race.